Good morning guys, today is an exciting day because we get to test drive the all new Kia Cadenza or Kia K8. <laughs> wow, it's taking very nice. And today we have the Kia K8 with 3.5 liter V6 made it to A speed automatic, but just front wheel drive. Kia says they're gonna roll out the all wheel drive model sometime next month. So really hope to show you the all wheel drive model when we get it as a press car. It's a beautiful spring day here in Korea. It's supposed to be raining, but just not yet. So lucky me. And we're gonna have about hour and a half with this all new Kia Cadenza. So we're gonna try our best to give you solid first drive on this K8. Okay, let's start with visibility. Visibility is quite nice in here. We have large windows all around, small windows near the A pillar, side mirrors bolted on the side to give you better visibility. We also have blind spot alert system and also monitoring system, which will greatly help you during your lane changes. So it's quite pleasant to be driving this all new Kia K8. But you guys know I'm about 6'2 and headroom seems to be a bit issue for me because I think it's got sloping roofline. Okay, let's talk about screens for a second. First of all, we have two curved 12.3 inch screens, one for the gauge cluster and one for the infotainment screens. And we also have 12 inch head up display and Kia says that is about 50% larger than before. It's showing me the current speed, speed limit, turn by turn directions, and whether there is a car on my blind spot left and right, so very nice. And I was gonna really say, wish there was volume control, and there is because there's two touch sensitive buttons. If you press the bottom ones, it becomes temperature control for the driver and passenger side. And if you press the top one, it becomes volume and sick button and power button. So I think that's really smart design, saving lots of space. Yeah, certainly works. We also have dial type gear selector, very straightforward to use and it wouldn't go into parking when it's driving, so it's know what's going on. And drive mode selector, auto hold, 360 camera, parking sensor off. We also have three stage heated and ventilation seats and also heated seats, so it's got lots of features inside. Okay, let's talk about engine for a second. Here in Korea, you can get this all new Kia Cadenza with three different engine choices. 2.5 liter four cylinder gasoline engine, 3.5 liter V6 or 3.5 liter LPI. And our tester came with 3.5 liter V6, making about 300 horsepower and 264 pound feet of torque. Engine made it to A speed automatic. Now let's just put the car into sports and drive. Smooth, pulls nicely, and also sounds quite meaty too. So overall very smooth and also quite fun too. Nice. Feels a lot better than the old 3 liter V6. Glad to have some fun too. <laughs> Engine is made it to A speed automatic. Usually there's just one single chamber within the torque converter, but Kia have added one more to make the shifting more smoother and efficient. We're also given paddle shifter, so let me just show you working in action. Three, whoa, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five four, three. So it's not only shifting quickly, but also smoothly, which is a great fit for this over five meter large executive sedan. Very nice. Smooth. And if you have the window up, Kia K8 will actually close the window before entering the tunnel. So that's nice. And if you guys are enjoying this, please like this video and subscribe so we can grow this channel together and have more fun. We also have adaptive suspensions for V6 models. So let me just quickly show you 
how it handles. <laughs> wow, it's taking very nicely over a five meter executive sedan. I really also hope to show you how all wheel drive model tackles the corner. So stay tuned, guys. Wow, impressive for a big guy, right? Let me also show you the second row seat one more time for those of you who have missed it. He actually places coat hanger up here and more diamond pattern here and on the side as well. Window comes down, not all the way, but almost all the way. It's got double laminated windows even for the second row passengers. It's nice to have manual sunshade for the side. 14 speaker Meridian for the first time for Kia. Also ambient light right there. That's window switch, three stage heated and ventilation seats. And we also have some climate control here, two air vents, two fast USB charging ports on the bottom. Hump in the middle, but it's not so large, so I think it's pretty okay. We also have a good armrest with additional fast USB charging port inside. There's no uh, charging wireless charging pad. That's just some room for your pen and stuff like that. Some media controls here. Unfortunately, the second row does not fold, but we just have a ski through in there. Okay. And we also have more rise sunshade for the rear. And we also have gigantic sunroof on the top, but I cannot really open it because I have GoPro on the top. Okay. But let me also show you the exterior design under the sunlight. First of all, we have a new Kia logo. I think it looks pretty okay. It's, it's sort of flat. So guys, do let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I'm not really sure what color this is. Uh, I think it's black. Uh, we also have a frameless bumper with the uh, grill. So there's no border lines. So if you crash, I think it's going to cost you a bit. But it generally looks very large and nice. Uh, lots of diamond patterns in the middle, 360 camera, parking sensors here. And this is DRL plus the turn signal. So it's actually sequential. There's one more diamond on the grill itself. Um, nice pattern here as well. Air curtains on the side, large openings on the bottom with radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control. So let me just show you the uh, Headlamp system working in action, okay? Okay guys, that's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, and this is what horn sounds like, okay? And we have a few different colors. This is black, sort of like a blue, blue. That's black as well, and there's gray, silver. So guys, do let me know which color do you like the best in the comment section. Okay, our tester also came with 245 40 by 19 on front and back. And looking at the car from the side, we have a side mirror that's bolted on the side, small windows near the A pillar. And just like EV6, we have a small line that starts on the bottom, is carried all the way to the tail lamp. And shark fins garnish on the side as well. Okay. And we also have a very long and large LED tail lamp at the rear and look at this angle i think that's a very cool design and we have a dual exhaust on the bottom but actually fake located on the bottom side like this and you have to press here for the trunk and we have a large trunk quite not large also have a we don't have it for the press guard, but I think we are supposed to have a puncture kit and some tools. But uh, there's space, so if you guys get this, I really hope you guys get this Kia K8 or Cadenza in North America again. If you do, I think they're going to give you a spare tire. Okay? And really have a short trunk tack and a coupe like silhouette. And that's probably why. I had not much headroom from the driver's seat. Okay, we're on the way back. Seats are quite comfortable. We have Ergo seats with seven air pockets, so it feels quite comfortable. And if you drive over 100 kilometers per hour or put the car into sports mode, the side bolster will actually hug you, squeeze you to hold you better in place.
The cabin is quite nicely isolated. We have triple seals for the doors and double laminated windows even for the second row passengers. So I think this all new Kia Cadenza can be also very good highway cruiser. Let me also show you handling one more time. Wow! So it actually handles pretty good for over five meter executive sedan. And look, it sounds pretty good. The V6, I like it. <laughs> and let me also show you adaptive cruise control working with lane keep assist. As you can see, it's a very delicate system placing the car right on the center and keeping a safe distance with the car in front. And um, of course, in a minute or so, it's gonna say, hey driver, it's time to put your hands back on the steering wheel like this but even before that you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel for your own safety but still doing a very good job placing the car right on the center and also keeping a safe distance with the car in front and if you ignore it, it's gonna say it's gonna be louder louder get louder louder and if you still ignore it, it's gonna completely disengage the system so like I told you you should always keep your hands back on the steering wheel Okay. okay. And we also have. So there we go. So you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel. Okay. We also have moon lamp on the door trim and also on the dashboard as well. And I heard if you over speed, if you go over a speed limit, the moon lamp will turn into red, which should be quite helpful for me. And this Kia K8 also has voice command, only works in Korean because this is Korean spec model. So you can certainly input the destination. Walkoil Hotel Lo Gaja. And you can also turn on the heated seats for yourself. So obviously you can do it faster with your hands, but I guess it's new technology you can brag to your friends about, I guess. You can also do that. Yeah, so let me know what do you think about it uh, in the comment section. And we're stuck in the traffic. When you're stuck in the traffic, adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality can be really lifesaver as you can see it will come to a full stop and if the lead car departs within five seconds it will follow uh, without any of your input but since we are on highway you don't even have to input anything even after five seconds so this is very good i mean we have lots of traffic here in korea so this is really a lifesaver okay and Kia K8 also has 14 speaker sound system by Meridian. First time for Kia, so let's just listen to it. So it sounds quite crisp and also takes the bass nicely. So pretty nice system. All right guys, this has been our first ride with all new Kia Cadenza or Kia K8. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys, see you soon, stay healthy and bye bye.
Hi guys, today is an exciting day because we get to drive the all new Kia Cadenza. So there we go, it just turned on the heated seats for my side and you can also play the radio. Radio Trojo. Sometimes it just says ignores you, but let me just one more, try one more time. Radio Trojo. 